to today's video where we're going to be looking at the tonality of Badinari. So when we mention tonality, tonality in the basic sense means the character of a piece of music and in a very basic sense we can have two characteristics of a piece of music. It could be major or it could be minor. So in other words it could be more happy, joyous sounding music or it could be more serious, sombre and negative sounding music which would be minor. So when we listen to it, and that is in its basic sense. Tonality can also mean the key signature or the key of a piece of music. And the key signature is often found at the beginning of a piece of music. It can be sharps, just like this, or it could be flats. Now a key signature tells us what notes will need to be sharpened or flattened. So in this case we can see we've got two sharps and it's on the F line and the C line. So this would tell us that every time we see an F and every time we see a C we've got to make it an F sharp and a C sharp. So it's telling us what notes need to be sharpened. Now I want you to imagine a key signature as being a person. Now most people um, will have good days. So when you see two sharps and it sounds happy, we're going to call it D major. So again, this person is having a good day. But let's be honest, we don't always have good days. Sometimes we have bad days. And sometimes we have bad feelings. So when we have the bad days or the more negative feelings, that would be B minor. Both these keys are related. They both use these same sharps, just like we've got the key signatures being one person. We have our good day, which is D major. We have our bad day, which is B minor. And as they are both related because they use the same key signature. Now, because they're both related, because they're using the same key signature, we give them names. So we would call B minor the negative side of life. We would call it the relative minor. And we would call D major the relative major, the more positive side of life. So when we're looking at key signatures, there are two options that we have. Now when we look at Badinari, when we look at the very beginning of Badinari, we can see it's got two sharps. So we've got two choices, haven't we? It could be the positive side of life, D major, or it could be the more negative side of life, B minor. Well, when we listen to Badinari, you might be able to tell from listening to it that it sounds negative, it sounds somber, it's not as positive. So section A begins in B minor. Now, as I've mentioned on past videos, Bach is a genius, and what we need to learn from Bach when we are composing ourselves is not to stay in the same key all the time. It can get boring. And just like humans, just like us, we can get very bored if we stay in the same place all the time. We need that stimulation of going somewhere different. So what Bach does is, when we get to section B, he changes the key signature. He adds a more different sounds so it's not sounding the same and he goes to F sharp minor and again just like I said we can get very bored staying in the same key or staying in the same place so therefore he changes it and towards the end of the piece we go back to B minor now this process of changing this process of changing key is called modulation so we would say Bach starts the piece, Badinari, he starts it in B minor. He then modulates to F sharp minor at section B. And towards the end of the piece of music, he modulates, so he's changing key, changing tonality. So towards the end of the piece, he modulates to B minor. Now, 
let's try to understand it a bit more. So I'm going to use a different way of explaining it. I want you to imagine B minor as being your house. And I want you to imagine section B, F sharp minor, as being school. Now at the moment in time, we're going to call B minor, we're going to call our home key, we're going to call it the tonic key. So B minor, the tonic key, our home key is here. And as I said, you know, we need stimulation. So the best place for us to be stimulated, uh, to learn more, is of course going to school. So we are going at section B, when it's F sharp minor, we're going to school. And we're going to call this, we're going to call F sharp minor, the dominant of B minor. Let's face it, school dominates a lot of our time. So we start in B minor, the tonic key. We modulate to F sharp minor, the dominant of B minor, or the school is dominating a lot of our lives. And then towards the end of the piece, he modulates, remember he's changing key, so he's modulating back to B minor, or in other words, we're going back home. We're going back to our home at the end of a long day of school, we're going back to our tonic key. So just to reiterate, we start at our home, we change direction, we're going to a new place, we're going to school, and then at the end of the school day, we're going back home. So B minor, F sharp minor, and then back to B minor. Or the tonic key, we go to the dominant, and then back to the tonic. And that is the basic, that's the very basic way that Bach uses tonality in Padinari. So let's look at it in the score, let's note it. So remember, we start in B minor. We start in that tonic key, it's B minor, that's our home. And it is related, remember it's related, because we have the two sharps, it could be two choices. So we would say B minor is the relative minor of D major. When we go to section B, remember we've gone, we've changed direction, we've now gone to school, we've gone to a new place. And this is now F sharp minor. You might note that he's still using two sharps and you might be thinking, well, how do you know that? We know that by looking at the music and listening to the chords and looking at the sharps that are being used and the combination. And of course, we know F sharp minor as being the dominant. It is the dominant of B minor. So there are the two points. Section A is in B minor, and section B is in F sharp minor. Now, just as we go from our house to school, we don't just click our fingers and we arrive there, we have to go on a journey. And like most journeys, this will involve transport. You know, so maybe you travel to school by a car, or bike, or bus, or maybe you walk it. And that's just what Bach does when he's modulating and he's changing that key. He goes on a journey and he's journeying through different keys. So as we know, our section A, the start of Badinari is in B minor. And I want you to imagine it as being our house. He then modulates, or he gradually modulates, he's gradually changing key. So when we come to section B, we arrive in F sharp minor, or we arrive at school. And then towards the end of the piece, we've gradually moved back to B minor, or in other words, we go back home. Now, as I said, Bach travels, Bach goes on a journey through these different keys. He doesn't just click his fingers and we arrive in F sharp minor. We've got to, we've got to change the sound world. We've got to change the cards. We've got to change the type of sounds that we hear. So, our ears adjust quite naturally to us getting to F sharp minor. 
So this is what Bach does. Bach starts in B minor. Then he modulates to A major. From A major, he then modulates to F sharp minor. So our ears are now adjusted for when we get to section B. When we arrive at section B, as we know, we're in F sharp minor. But he doesn't stay there for long, he modulates, he's changing key. So he quickly changes key to E minor. Then he changes key again, he modulates, he goes to D major. From there, he then modulates to B minor. So now I'm going to show it to you a different way. I want you to imagine that you're at home, B minor, and you need to get to school. So you walk it, you're walking it to the bus stop, which is A major. The bus for your school, it pulls up. That's F sharp minor, and it takes you to your school. When school's finished, you need to get back home. So maybe you get a lift off a friend's parent. They give you a lift to the bus stop. So that's you getting a lift. E minor is you getting a lift. You then arrive at the bus stop, which is D major. So you arrive at your bus stop, which is D major. And then the bus arrives, that's B minor, and it takes you back home. So that is our journey, and that's the journey that Bach follows as he modulates through the keys. So let's note it now on the score. Remember, we start off in B minor. Right here is when he changes, right here is when he's modulating to A major. So bar six, beat two. And it's very short, it only lasts until bar eight, beat one. So he's modulating to A major. From here, he then modulates to F sharp minor. So he's changed key from bar eight, beat two, to bar 16, beat one. He's modulated to F sharp minor. As we know, F sharp minor is the dominant of B minor. And of course, we stay in this key, we stay in F sharp minor for the remainder of this section. Once we arrive in section B, remember we're still in F sharp minor, which is the dominant of B minor. But we don't stay there for long. Remember, we finish school. We get our lift off our friend's parents to the bus stop, E minor. So from bar 18, beat two to bar 20, beat one, we are modulated, we are, we've modulated to E minor. And this is a very quick modulation. Again, it's a very quick modulation. It's only less than two bars. From there, we then modulate to D major. From bar 20, beat two. So the music has now gone to a brighter side. You know, it's been minor quite often. Now this is the point where it's now happy. It's major. And remember, D major is the relative major of B minor. So they share that same key. So there's a connection here. As we carry on through the piece, we continue in, we're still in D major, but we're not in the, we're not in D major for long. Remember, we're at that bus stop. We're waiting for our bus. And now the bus arrives. That bus arrives. It's gonna take us back home to B minor. At bar 30, beat two, the music is now modulated to the relative minor of B minor. And the music stays in this key until the end of the piece. So we're now on that bus going home. We're aiming for home. Now that is the journey that Bart takes us on. You know, if we're to take anything away from this, we should now know that we start in B minor. Section B is in F sharp minor, and then we move back home to B minor. 
and of course through the way he does take us on a journey he does trans he does um he does modulate to the different keys so let's look at it all in action let's listen to the music and let's look at how the music modulates so we can hear the music changing <laughs> we've heard there and seen how the music can very quickly modulate and take us through that journey from going from B minor to F sharp minor and ending in B minor. Thank you so much for joining me on this video of looking at the tonality of Bajaneri. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.